Here's the next problem. You've got to, uh, as a successful person, I have a natural desire, a natural instinct for success. You, you once had this too, when you were a little child and that sort of thing, before the world polluted your mind. You know, a great description. I, I heard, I, you know, a guy told me on an interview the other day, a good friend told me, and he said, uh, the, uh, he said, you know, your mind is like a pot of white paint, right? And basically, he, he heard it from somewhere as well, and he says, as you go through life, people drop more and more bits of round paint and dirt in it and that sort of thing, and it gets more and more cloudy and murky and ends up as a pot of brown paint, right? And your might, mind used to be clear. Now, and I said to him, I said, well, here's the problem. Everybody on Earth thinks that they've still got a pot of white paint, and you haven't. You've got a mess going on up there. So what's got to happen is you've got to clean the white paint out. Now, I, as a successful person, I have this natural instinct for success. It's like a burning desire, right? Can't describe it any other way than that. It's like, yeah, I've got to do that. I've got to do that. It's like a, like a gravitational pull, right? That I, you know, uh, I'd like to choose failure. No, you're not allowed to do that. You've got to go for success, right? I'd like to sit still. No, I'd like to be afraid. No, you can't do any of that because I'm, I'm being pulled that way. I can't, you know, it's just in me, right? You haven't got that because you've got this garbage program going on, right? And it's a case of you, what you've got to do, because you haven't got that, you have to cultivate that pull for success. You have to cultivate your desire for success. And the problem is your conscious mind doesn't want you to cultivate that desire for success, right? Because your conscious mind wants things to stay the same. They fit this way. They go into that box and uh, it doesn't want you to uh, move forward. But if you want success, you've got to get into the, the abundant mindset. You've got to go and experience it. You've got to get to the point of knowing, and I mean knowing, that you're going to be successful. Where it's a case of you cannot not see your life turning out without being, a, without being a success. And when you've got to that point of knowing that it's going to be successful, you've now cultivated your desire, and now you'll, you'll feel it. You'll just feel it. And the, it will be like a gravitational pull where it's a burning desire. I've got to be successful, right? And you just got to go and do it. You've got to go and do it because it's a case of you've cultivated that desire for success. If you haven't got it naturally, right, which you, you almost certainly haven't, it was in you. You did have it. It's like you had it when it was like, I've got to walk. I've got to walk, right? Because you walk, fall down, walk, fall down, walk, fall down, right? Eventually, walk, walk, fall down, walk, 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 walk fall down, right? It's a case of you had that desire then. So all I want you to do is I want you to pull off the garbage, pull off the bad programming. That's what creating a bug-free mind is all about. Pulling off all the garbage so you can get back to a point where it's a case of you had that natural desire again. You had that natural gravitational pull to pull you off of your hands and knees and get you standing upright. Yeah? That's success. Right? That desire to be successful. That desire, that absolute gravitational pull that sucks you forward is what you're after to create. And it's created in your mind. You have to do it from your mind. Okay, that's it. That's how you become, you do that, and effectively you become an unstoppable force. You know, if you see somebody trying to get in, get in my way, it's like, yeah, okay, right, I'm in my way. Okay, okay, I'm around them, right? Oh, there's 10 of them, all found a way. Right? I'm an unstoppable force because I have a burning desire that means I have to go through. I have to get round. Yeah? But because you haven't got this cultivated burning desire yet, you're like, I've got this burning desire. Oh no, I haven't really got a burning desire. Obstacle. What's on telly? You're gone. You've got to cultivate that. And that's why you know, I put the membership sites together because it's a case of putting a lot of people, you know, this, the association thing. Um, the, excuse me a second. This is my voice. You know how police officers say, uh, oh, I don't like putting a young criminal with an old criminal because the old criminal teaches the young criminal how to become a better criminal. Right? It's an association thing. The same is true of success. Right? Uh, you know, it's a case of I'm a success. I've been a success. I'll be a massive success again and that sort of thing. I associate with successful people. I've got lots of friends who are successful people and that sort of thing. It's a case of I'm surrounded by successful people. I've got a membership site of lots of people that are endeavouring to become successful people. They're doing things, they're all uh, nurturing each other to become, success, become a success. You're surrounding yourself with success, yeah? Now, 
let's sur say you surrounded yourself with poverty, what's likely to happen, right? But if you surround yourself with success, then what's likely to happen then? This isn't rocket science. This isn't you know, something that's uh, new or anything like this. This is the power of association, yeah? Which is why it's a case of you can do it. And the, you know, the idea, you know, from my point of view, it's a case of the reason the site is there is to cultivate that desire. If you can't cultivate it yourself, then that site will cultivate the desire with you. You have to get involved though, you have to absorb, you know, have to get involved in that sort of thing. You can try it for 60 days for a pound, I think it is. So it's a case of you can do this if you choose to. But if your conscious mind's going, oh, I, I, I'm gonna judge that now, before I've had made any decisions, yeah, recognize your conscious mind judging it before you've got all the facts, right? Remember what I said, there's no need to judge something once something becomes self-evident, yeah? Because if you, know, if you do it correctly and it becomes self-evident, you'll look at it and go, oh, well, it's obvious, yeah? So, you'll, you, you know, and it's a case of if you do it and you don't like it, you'll be like, well, this, this is obvious, I don't want to do it. You see, there's no judgment. The fact that you try and do a judgment now is your conscious mind getting in the way of your subconscious mind. So you have to go, right, well, my conscious mind is holding me back. Right, okay, just relax. Okay, is this helping me? Is this helping me? Well, yes, I think it's, uh, I think it's helping me because it's saving me the pound, right? So do you see, do you see what I mean? You know, it's this ridiculous thing, okay, it's called, uh, there's a saying called penny wise and pound foolish, right? The, you are, uh, you are responsible for your actions, right? Just because you're unconscious, when I say conscious, you're also unconscious at the same time, but because you're, just because you're unconsciously making bad decisions, there's no excuse. If you want a success mindset, your success mindset has to overcome your conscious mind and your unconscious self, right? And if you can overcome them because you can fill it with your abundant desire to create success, right? You're, you're, they'll diminish and they'll go, oh cool, we actually like it your way better, right? Because that isn't your ego, that's your conscience, right? That's your conscious mind, not conscious, right? That's your conscious mind, right? Your ego's, your ego's going, whoa, it's scary, it's scary, it's scary, let's not even talk about it, right? I'm, fear, I'm afraid of this, like, I'm afraid of even having this conversation because just in case you might do something, right? The problem is you say to, your ego has allowed you to get in and your ego is allowing you to watch these videos. Frankly, I'm surprised you're, if, you know, if you've got a real uh, problem like this, your ego won't even allow you to watch these videos because your ego's going, well, we've let you download the videos, we've let you uh, opt into it, but we're not gonna let you see it because we're gonna tell you you're too busy. <laughs> because because your ego is running the thoughts, you actually believe it. So you think, I'm too busy, right? Busyness, right? Where is busy and rushing got you in your life? Okay, has it got you anywhere you really wanna go? Right, because I don't do busy, I don't do rushing. Well, I did, <laughs> I used to do that, and it's what's known as bloody ridiculous, right? Now it's a case of I go, right, well I wanna get here, and I plan the stages to get there, and then I take steps to get there. There's no busyness, there's no rush, I just do it. Clear, definite action in one direction. That's it. So what you've got to do is you've got to look at it and think, I've got to cultivate the desire, I've got to look at my conscious mind and think, is that helping me or is that hurting me? Right? And it's a case of recognise when you're judging things. If you're judging it, you think, well, why am I judging it? There is no need to judge it because I wouldn't need to judge it if it was self-evident. Right? I don't need to judge whether I should pour this glass of water over my head or not, or throw it on that laptop, because it is self-evident that I shouldn't do. There's no need to judge it, is there? So why do people rush to judge? It's a human ailment, yeah? It's an ailment of the mind. And so if you want success, you have to rid yourself of all of those sorts of ailments, and you will end up basically as this unstoppable force. So your last obstacle over to overcome is your conscious mind that you think is helping you but is actually hindering you. Okay.